Hey, it's Dave. So, uh, yep, out here at the property. It's a sunny day trying to find a cool place where I can use my phone without it getting too hot. But uh, I want to do uh, I want to do a look at the um, Smith & Wesson Model 64. I've had this um, for a while, and um, here it is. Um, so really, what the Model 64 is, is a Model 10 in stainless steel. So it's made by Smith & Wesson. It's a six shot. It's unloaded. 38 revolver. It, um, well, I mean 38 special. It, that's all it shoots. Won't shoot a 357 Magnum. It's got fixed sights. So, you can see that. I like the crown on the barrel. I find this to be a really accurate revolver. I really enjoy shooting it. But for me, it's a little special because it's the uh, it's the stainless steel version of the one that, you know, I learned how to shoot in the Federal Bureau of Prisons. Uh, the Model 10 was uh, what I started out shooting. Here's the grips that came on it. And uh, I took them off and I put wood grips on just because I like that style. It's more of a sheriff style versus if you were to imagine um, this grip on it like that i don't know if you if you're imagining like that that's more of the standard look that you would see but yeah anyways it was i'd never shot a firearm really much until i joined the joined became employed by the federal bureau of prisons a long time ago and uh, back in the 80s and <clears throat> Yeah, so, and there's some, some, there's a few, quite a few, I think, BOPers that watch uh, my channel every now and then, so they can correct me if I'm wrong. I know Wes, CJ, George, just name a few that would probably watch it. Um, yeah, they can let me know, but I learned on the Model 10, and uh, one day I'll get a Model 10 to have as well. I have an M1 carbine, which was the rifle I learned to shoot. At Terre Haute, we also shot an M14, so I don't have an M14 yet. I will plan on getting one. And then, of course, the shotgun we used, I used, uh, was a Remington 870, just a pump, Remington pump. I think it was an 870, I'm pretty sure. So, and that's what I, I have an 870 shotgun as well. So, anyways, I. I want to get the full collection of what I had when I first started at Terre Haute. Um, but that's where my interest and love of firearms first began, you know, I was shooting, learning to shoot at the, in the Bureau of Prisons and all the firearms trainers were just super duper at uh, taking people who hadn't really used firearms very well uh, at all, really, and teaching them what to do and how to do it and teaching you good good techniques now that doesn't mean I did I don't you know mess up I do I still mess up a lot I'm not as good as any of those trainers are but um, but I did value what they taught me and I thought that was really cool so anyway that's why I like the model 64 um, it has a um, sentimental value to me and so I'm gonna shoot it today We've got like 50 rounds of 38 special. Um, we're gonna shoot Federal American or American Eagle 158 grain, um, full metal jacket. Just nothing super duper about them. Just 38 special. So about the 38 special, um, the Model 10 or Model 64. There's a couple other quick things. So I have the four inch 
but it came in two, four. I think there's also a six inch model. Um, it is a six shot. It's a double action. Um, this one moves, uh, I think, really smooth. Sometimes I get a misfire, but not too often. You might see that today. Every now and then um, it has like a light strike on one of the rounds, but not too often, just occasionally. Let's see. Um, I guess the other thing that I thought was interesting when I did some research on this was in the, it's the only stainless steel um, firearm that the New York Police Department allows uh, besides the um, Ruger Service 6. So I thought that was cool, Model 64 is. Um, yeah, that's kind of neat. The other thing, and I, I kind of blew by it, but on the, let me see if I can get you to see this. So it has the fixed sights, but the front sight has little serrations on it and it stops the glare. So I don't know if you can see that. I just thought that was so cool, um, you know, to think of that. Um, it's little things like that, you know, that I, I kind of, for whatever reason, think about. All right, so um, that's the um, Smith & Wesson Model 64. Um, not a whole a lot else I could add about it. Um, if you haven't shot a Model 10 or a Model 64, um, very simple but yet very effective uh, firearm. Go out and shoot a little bit. It's hot. So hopefully my cameras hold up. Um, we'll see how I do. Uh, I got a variety of targets set up and so we'll go from there. All right, hold on a minute, Dave out. You know, if I'm not mistaken, I think in the in our training in the Bureau of Prisons, they taught us to always carry with the top one, the top cylinder empty, so you wouldn't have a misfire while you were holding it in your uh, holster. I did better in double action, I did single action. All right, I got two left. <clears throat> All right, I got two left. Uh, the aim of both on that small target, I'm gonna use single action. See if I can't get one to hit it. All right, I'm gonna finish this up. So, uh, yeah, that's a look at the uh, 38 uh, Special Smith & Wesson model 64, this right here. So uh, that puts an end to going over that for now. I'll probably do it again later. And look at this snazzy chair I'm sitting in. I don't know if you can see it. That's my Father's Day present. So I'm digging that. All right, so it's a hot one out here, a lot of sun. So I don't know how clear all this showed up and if I'm squinting, I'm sorry, it's just the sun. 
So, um, like I say, make kindness your business. Try to do some kind for somebody. You never know. You may change their life, and it may help your life. You never know how it will turn out. Maybe one kind thing by you will lead to others. Maybe that kind thing you do will get passed along. You never know. But try to do some kind for somebody. And uh, like I said, about sums it up. Dave out.